Now to the Trump presidency and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo heading back to the U.S. tonight with three Americans just released by North Korea today. Their plane landed in Japan for a stopover before it arrives back in the U.S. overnight. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez is in the control room with more on what the release means for the president's upcoming talks with Kim Jong-un. Elliot. Well, Rick, that's right. Those three Americans held as prisoners in North Korea are on their way home tonight. President Trump made the announcement this morning saying that he appreciates the help of North Korea's Kim Jong-un and that he is looking forward to their face-to-face -face meeting. President Trump said he looks forward to welcoming home three Americans freed from prison in North Korea. Nobody thought this was going to happen. And I appreciate Kim Jong-un doing this and allowing them to go. A jet carrying the former detainee stopped in Japan to refuel before heading to the United States. As a show of good faith, the White House had been pressuring North Korean leader Kim Jong-un to release the Americans, a businessman and two teachers. Kim dung chu had been held since October 2015, Tony Kim and Kim hak sung since last spring. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo arrived in North Korea Tuesday and met with Kim Jong-un, securing the release of the men and finalizing the upcoming summit between the two world leaders. Both sides want to negotiate a deal. I think it's going to be a very successful deal. Republicans said the gesture by the North Korean leader is a good great first step. Great news. It can only be viewed as great news. Tony Kim's family released a statement saying we want to thank all of those who worked toward and contributed to his return home. We also want to thank the president for engaging directly with North Korea. The president was asked if he deserves the Nobel Peace Prize. Everyone thinks so, but I would never say it. <laughs> you know what I want to do? I want to get it finished. The prize I want is victory for the world, not for even here. I want victory for the world, because that's what we're talking about. So that's the only prize I want. President Trump said he will be there to greet the former prisoners when they arrive at Andrews Air Force Base very early tomorrow morning. 